Hello, friend Mormo here, and uh, today we're looking back at some golden oldies, some classic Mormo from back in 2013 and 2014. I uh, went back and downloaded these videos, then I deleted them so I can re-upload. But we're looking at some classic Mormo stuff today. And uh, I've been, I'm having a manic episode. Didn't sleep last night. It's like 1.14 right now and I still haven't slept. So I don't know when I'm going to go to sleep, but I figured, hey, what better time to put on makeup and make myself a nice long video. So we're going to look at some classic Mormo and I'm not sure what's up next, but let's watch. Hello, today I'm talking about the benefits of crowdfunding and why I think it's a really good idea to uh, fund pro projects that you're really interested in. It's been really rewarding for me, different projects I've invested in. Uh, just recently I invested in a movie called Bulldog for Christmas directed by Henry Couteau. I think I only invested five bucks, but what I got for it was a digital download. So I got to see the movie uh, on my computer. And then I also got a special thanks in the credit. My name was in the credits. And I just want to tell you how awesome this is. I'm a guy... I like hard to find films, I like to watch movies not many people have seen, and when I got the copy of this movie, I'm guessing I was one of the first, maybe one of the first couple hundred people to see it, and that's really cool to me, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a classic movie, holiday classic, and so I was one of the first people to see it, and I got my name in the credits. So, I mean, to me, that's super awesome and worth investing in. It's, uh, <clears throat> other films I've invested in have been by classic filmmakers like Herschel Gordon Lewis and Ted V. Michaels and these pioneers of the exploitation movie. They're kind of in their salad years and looking to make another movie and I want to be a part of that because mostly just because I want to see the movie but when I get a chance to see it before everybody else get my name in the credits I mean that's just about as awesome as it gets and there's I've seen lots of other things that I'd like to invest in like tabletop games with card games and role-playing games where you get a copy of the game in exchange for your investment um there's a channel on my roku called crowdfunded now i think but you can go through on your tv and watch the little sales pitch videos it's really cool and uh yeah, so I recommend you try crowdfunding. Find a project you're really interested in and just throw a couple bucks at it, you know. It's worth it. You get really good rewards. It's really cool to be part of the process, too. I've wanted to be a filmmaker the majority of my life, and I'm hoping pretty soon I'm going to make my own movie, and I'm going to try crowdfunding, too. And, uh, and, uh, so if filmmaking or anything is something you dream about, you can experience what it's like by just donating a small amount of money. And even if you donate only a dollar, it still helps. You can donate a dollar and then go on. You can... Like, tell all your friends on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, hey, I just donated a buck 
to this cause you should do the same thing it's really cool uh so yeah definitely try it and support people because some great art comes out of it it's really fun to be a part of the process very rewarding thank you okay friends so there i'm in my old bookstore i used to run a used bookstore back in the day and i brought my laptop in so i could record youtube videos <coughs> And overall, this is a pretty decent video. At least I wasn't reading. I was actually just speaking and saying my thoughts and stuff. So I give the video props for that. It's pretty awesome that I invested in a Herschel Gordon Lewis movie and I invested in a Ted V. Michaels movie. I wish I could remember which ones they were. But it'd be interesting to know if I got my name in the credits or not. Um, but I'm pretty proud of myself for investing in those two filmmakers. And of course, Henry Couteau from Bulldog for Christmas. That was a great movie I invested in. That may or may not be the movie that got me my IMDB page. I'm, I can't remember exactly. I didn't mention it in the video. But I might not have known about it at the time. But uh, And I still invest in crowdfunding all the time. I don't call it a donation anymore. I call it investing. And uh, I invest in films all the time. I invested in one called Wig Wolf's Wizard of Oz. And uh, that's in production right now. I, it came from some other time or something like that some 50s movie i invested in and uh, i invest small amounts of money in quite a few different projects and uh have a lot of fun with that so that was a pretty crazy cool video um let's see what's up next Ghosts and the belief in and sightings of ghosts have been happening since the beginning of time. A ghost is the spirit, some say soul, of a deceased person or animal that appears to living humans in a recognizable form. These visions usually occur in places that were familiar to and frequented by the deceased, their place of birth, death, or where they lived most of their earthly life. Sometimes ghosts are also associated with the deceased person's earthly possessions. Today, the entity that is known to Christians as the Holy Spirit was referred to as the Holy Ghost in earlier times. About 32% of all Americans believe in the existence of ghosts. Some cultures have depicted ghosts as the departed returning in a symbolic form or an an or an animal or a bird, but generally most cultures believe that the ghost of the departed is an exact duplication of the person as they appeared in life. Ghosts are usually believed to be composed of an airy or misty substance. It's believed that this conception of how a ghost looks comes from ancient cultures who believe that ghosts were actually a person within a person or that the ghost existed in the breath of a human host. The word breath has also come to mean soul in many cultures. Ghosts are deeply rooted in the history of all cultures. Some believe that ghosts are looking for vengeance for wrongs done to them during their lifetimes. Others believe that the ghosts are spirits that are imprisoned on earth because of bad things that they did during their human lifetime. Still others believe that ghosts are good spirits and have returned to earth to guard and protect their ancestors. Stories of ghosts date back to ancient times and are rooted in mythology. Okay, friends, so there's some classic Mormo back when I used to use white face paint and white out my face and neck and everything. Got lazy and changed Mormo's look a few years ago. But uh, I was also wearing a collared shirt rather than just being nude under the vest. And I'm still wearing the same vest. I can remember 
when me, my mom, and my grandma drove up to Boise, Idaho to go to the big and tall men's store and we bought this vest and uh, it was a really special day and I still use this vest and I've gotten a lot of use out of it and I'm talking about ghosts in the video. Uh, I was reading in this one but my reading was actually pretty good. I probably had better eyesight back then. But I think I did a pretty good job and it's a pretty good video. Um, I'm ki I kind of regret that I deleted this off of my channel because I had it in a playlist. A lot of these videos were private for some dumb reason or another. I switched a bunch of my older videos to private. Um, I think I didn't want them to show up in suggested or something. I can't exactly remember why I did that. But this one was public and in a playlist I'm actually promoting. So I regret deleting it, but whatever. It, now it's just part of this movie and it's all good. And uh, let's watch the next video now. Hello folks, I just got back from checking out Nebraska at my local theater and I really enjoyed it. I was kind of a A-list talent Hollywood version of a film festival movie. It's just a really small movie, kind of tells a very small story just about people and stuff with the big cast. Um, it's Bruce Dern plays... Uh, an old man who is getting confused a lot and it seems like he might be getting ready to have Alzheimer's and he gets a letter in the mail from a sweepstakes company and he, he thinks that it says that he won a million dollars and uh, and nobody will take him to go get the money which is in Nebraska and they live in Montana, I think. But so he just starts trying to walk there and just shuffling alongside the road and the cops catch him and and his son needs to go help find him. His son is Will Forte, who does a really awesome acting job in this. It's hard to believe he went from McGruber to this movie, <laughs> which was which was a, a really good, well-acted movie. He did a great job. Bruce Stern's other son is Bob Odenkirk, who, um, of course, also did a really good job. I'm a big fan of Bob Odenkirk from back in his Mr. Show days. And, uh... <clears throat> so... He just keeps trying to escape, and finally, Will Forte agrees to take him to Nebraska, and it becomes a road trip movie, and along the way, they meet old family members, and Stacy Keach kind of plays a villain in this movie, a bad guy, and, um... I could really relate to this movie. I think anybody watching it could relate to this movie because we all go through stages where we wonder what our roots are and our family's history and we hear stories about our family's history and what happened before we were born and everything and like we all go through this and so it's basically the key of what this movie is about and uh, as somebody who's trying to learn internet marketing this was a must see for me because it shows the ramifications that can happen when you're promising people money or a prize or something. I know I would recently signed up for this business where you tell people they can win a Burger King gift certificate or different free prizes, gift certificates and stuff. <coughs> Filling out surveys and stuff. And then I found, um, and then I had a Valentine's Day date and I was asking 
my date uh, if she ever filled out surveys for money and she brought up her email account on her cell phone and it was just one offer after another the same shit I had been looking at sending people to go visit she said you take the surveys and they, they're long they just ask the same questions over and over again and then they'll never leave you alone and every day she's just got tons and tons more surveys and offers and stuff and so I mean it really makes you think that you get a quick couple bucks but then these people are just drowned in, in spam or whatever and drowning in um, or they get their hopes up that they're gonna win some prize or win big money and it just makes me think maybe that's not what I should be doing. Um, it's a really neat movie though. Check it out. It's up for a couple Oscars. Bruce, it's up for Best Picture. Bruce Dern is up for Best Actor. Um, Bruce Dern's wife in the movie, Best Supporting Actress. Uh, cinematography, some other stuff. And I really liked it. Like I say, it was really small. It's hard to compare this to like Wolf of Wall Street or American Hustle that were huge movies. But event, but it's so funny that these three movies I just mentioned are all about scam artists, basically. Which is kind of funny when you think about it. Uh, an Oscar trend, I guess. But I'm not sure where I stand. I know I'd like to see Bruce Dern win an Oscar over DiCaprio, probably, and Christian Bale. Um, best picture, I would say, I'd say has to go to Wolf of Wall Street. And um, I wanted to look this up real quick because I believe that this movie was rated R. And if it was, it's completely real ridiculous um, because uh, the MPAA is just so out of control with the way they are ranking movies. Um, yeah, it's rated R, so you figure here's a movie about old people, about families talking. It had one F-bomb throughout the whole movie. Like, a couple of kind of risque lines, but nothing you'd, uh, you wouldn't see on a primetime sitcom. And then compare this to RoboCop remake, which got a PG-13, and you probably see 75 people get blown away. You see uh, brain surgery, you see a brief sex scene with the woman in a bra, but there, there, the MPAA is a fucking joke. And I need to talk to some people to figure out how I can do something about this. Like, I know a few journalists, film journalists and stuff. And I'm going to ask him because this movie, Nebraska, did not deserve an R rating. Robocop did deserve an R rating. Wolf of Wall Street deserved an NC-17. Earlier this year, The Conjuring was rated R. It should have been PG. The MPAA is just a fucking joke. And the reason Nebraska got an R rating is because it was a very small movie. Um, it probably had a small budget compared to Robocop's $100 million budget. And the MPAA is just so corrupt and out of control. But definitely go check out Nebraska um, so you can have a stake in the Oscars. And um, if you're an internet marketer, then definitely check out Nebraska. Uh, thanks. Okay, friends. So there I am. Uh, a talk, giving a review of a movie I went and saw on the big screen. And somehow that movie got lost. I never hear about it or never see it or anything. Uh, it's not a real talked about movie, but I remember really enjoying it. And of course, that was a good rant there at the end about uh, the MPAA. And I, I still think they're corrupt and awful. They're just a really terrible organization. 
and uh, I was talking about internet marketing that was back close to when I started I probably already been doing it for a while but you can see I've been doing it for a long time because that was like either 2013 or 2014 and I'm talking about like trying to do CPA marketing and all this and I actually had a date back then how about that gosh that never happens anymore but uh, so anyways that was a good video it was kind of long but uh, I enjoyed it hopefully you enjoyed it and stick around folks because at the end <clears throat> I'm gonna show one of my first lead magnets. It was the ethical bribe. Enter your email on my website on my website. And you got to see this video as your reward. And that's gonna be the last video I show. But I think there's like one or two more videos still. There might be one more video and then the lead magnet. And then that'll be the finale. But let's just watch the next video now. Hello, folks. I'm so excited because today I got my Ditch the Can Energy Drink Chaos Gold. It came in the mail today. And I've been waiting for this thing. I'm so excited to try it because it's a new energy drink. And it has way less sugar than the other ones. And uh, it also has two antidepressants in it. Natural ones, I think. And, uh, <clears throat> and it's a powder, so you can make it to your own strength however you want. That's something I'm really interested in finding out. So I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up here. And here's what one of the end here's what they look like ditch the can chaos gold in your hand is the badass energy blend we call KS chaos 9 we are not responsible for the superhero feats you accomplish after drinking ditch the can energy nice and you mix one packet in 8 to 12 ounces of water and drink to receive badass energy if pouring in the water bottle take a few sips first to make room all right cool and there's something else in here oh this is just all the nutritional information let's see oh it looks like it's got some pretty cool stuff in it 80% less sugar than Monster, Red Bull, and Rockstar, 70% fewer calories, tons of energy, no crash. That's awesome. And then I got two more envelopes here. I just decided to go ahead and get the sampler just to make sure I like it. If I like it, I'm probably going to order a bunch more. Alright, so now... I'm going to uh, go make this energy drink, I'll drink it, and then come back and tell you how I feel after drinking it and how it tasted. Hello, I'm back. I mixed up and drank most of the Chaos Gold. I'll try a little more. And I'll tell you, it's... Uh, <coughs> It's very good. It kind of reminds me, the flavor reminds me a lot of the soda cactus cooler. It's kind of got like a, like an orange pineapple taste, I guess. And uh, it's sweet, like Smarties. It's also a little sour, like a glass of really strong lemonade. Um, it tastes very good and I it said 8 to 12 ounces of water I went ahead and made it 12 ounces the next time I try it I'm probably gonna make it with a lot more water and just make a very weak energy drink because I'm a pretty thirsty guy I drink a lot of fluid 
and uh, I know that's a problem I had with the can energies is I'd drink that can and then I'd still be thirsty and want to drink another can but uh, I don't want to drink get too much energy drink and stuff so that's why this powder I think is going to be a way better alternative for me where I can make a, a larger beverage and um, and um, not get too much caffeine and stuff and I am definitely buzzing I feel very alert uh, very lots of energy uh, it's a different kind of buzz than like Rockstar or Red Bull or any of them it feels cleaner like I just feel cleaner with the buzz and I read closer the uh, active ingredients here on this card and that chaos nine blend is pretty serious it's got <clears throat> it's got all of the active ingredients that you would find in any energy drink plus a, plus some extra that I've never even heard of and it's definitely like I say I'm buzzing it's good and it tastes good I'm really happy with it I'm gonna order more so that's my review thanks for watching okay friends so there I am I joined an MLM a network marketing company and I was making my big review video so I could grow my downline and uh, get all the get, get climb up the pyramid and all that and uh, I remember enjoying that stuff but <clears throat> I think it was a weak op opportunity and that wasn't even my last energy drink MLM that I joined but uh, and real quick I want to point out that in all these videos I'm risperidone fat like the antipsychotic medication I was taking made me gain a lot of weight that's why my face is so puffy and I look so much more fat when I got off that medication, I got a ton of energy and the pounds just melted off, but uh, I also went very crazy and almost got in a lot of trouble and stuff and like it was a real nightmare when I was not on a med and now I'm on a much better med, I'm on a Cadillac med now and uh, doing a lot better than I was back then and although I I did enjoy my time back then especially working at the bookstore was a lot of fun and uh, I really appreciate that job and I'm so thankful I got to do that job working at the bookstore really changed me because it made me want to be an entrepreneur and be my own boss from that point out and that's why I'm always hustling online and trying to make money online so I can be my own boss and stuff but that energy drink wasn't where it's at like I said it was an MLM and I just don't think it was a very good opportunity um, and I, that's not something I'd be willing to join nowadays but that's part of learning you just got to try stuff and give it a try and everything and that was pretty cool music I'm pretty sure that was Panix back in in the, back in the day or um, maybe they had a different name back then but I've been working with that guy forever uh, he was he's always been kind enough to let me use his music and uh, so there's definitely cool music on that video and I was watching Serenity um, I think that's that like sci-fi Western or something I don't know but just drinking my energy drink and watching TV and making my review video and everything and now without further ado my uh, my big um, lead magnet that uh, I made back in the day when I was trying email marketing so long ago and trying to build an email list and everything and this was my big lead magnet 
So uh, let's watch it now. Hi folks, Mormo here. Thanks for signing up for my email list. And today I want to share with you a really neat visualization technique. And this is something I read in a book and um, it's really helped me a lot. I've used it and it's very, very helpful. I read it in a book called uh, The Greatest Network Marketer, I think. And at first I didn't think a lot about it, but then I used it and I've used it many times since and it's extremely helpful. I think it'll help you to be successful. Um, so here it is. What you want to do is close your eyes and then visualize yourself, imagine yourself standing in front of a theater, a movie theater, and there's a huge line of people waiting to get in, and you look up on the marquee and it says, your name, up in lights, and it says, the um, amazing story of this person's life. <clears throat> And that's the movie everybody's going to go see. So you get in line and go in and you sit right in the front row. And in your mind, visualize watching the movie from start to finish. So it starts off, you're born, your childhood, everything you've done up until this point. And then it continues on and shows all of the amazing things that you've accomplished for the rest of your life and you watch it all the way through to the end and this will really help you and encourage you to see your potential and what you can do just give it a try just close your eyes and visualize the whole thing as i described it and so far this has really helped me to make decisions using this technique i visualize in my mind okay i do this and then this is what happens and if it's not amazing and not great and not what you want for your life then you know to do something different but if you visualize this movie in your mind and you see yourself doing awesome things and being a big success and helping lots of people then you know this is something to do so just try it like I say I read about it didn't really think about it later that night I tried it closed my eyes and tried it it just happened and uh and it was an, an amazing experience and it's helped me a lot of times so give it a try and thanks for uh again for subscribing to my emails and and check them out whenever i send you an email please check it out thanks bye ours the magic ours the power Okay, friends, so there's my big lead magnet, and I thought it was pretty cool back in the day. You'd enter your email in exchange for getting to watch that video. And it was all about visualizing your life as a movie. And you go into the theater and sit down and watch your life story as if Hollywood was telling your life story. Um, I might try that again, actually. Eventually, I'm going to need to go to sleep. I've been up, like, a long time, but... Maybe I'll get back on a more normal sleep schedule. It's hard to say, but maybe if I visualize this, it'll help me get to sleep. I might try that. But anyways, thanks for watching this blast from the past and uh hopefully you enjoyed it if you like this let me know i'll make more and if you want to make money online click the link in the description it's for three amazing products that are free and they teach affiliate marketing traffic generation and email marketing and um, they changed me from somebody who just buys 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 to somebody who earns commissions. I earned my first commissions after joining this program. So go ahead and click the link in the description if you wanna make money online and thanks so much.